everybody, I'm Jean Bainey and welcome to my channel. I am going to do some faux tie-dye with these inks. I've got all these inks from Stampin' Up! And um, lots, of, lots of colors. So let's see, I'm going to take the red and the blue and... Um, well, that's kind of a red also, so let's get a pink, um, maybe that's green, and maybe there's a yellow in here, saffron, that's probably going to be enough colors, and we're going to play around and experiment a little bit. So let's just see how this happens. Um, if I, I'm trying to remember how they, how this is done, and I think it's done kind of like this. Um, I probably should have looked this up before I started, but. That takes a little bit of time. And um, maybe it goes like this so that it falls in line there. Like that. Oops. Probably like that. And then back again. I don't know, it probably really doesn't matter too awful much how, how the folds go. <laughs> I, I'm thinking, um, it just seems like they just folded it kind of in a general star shape. But I do think that it was closed up a little bit more. So let's just try it and see what we've got here. Um, we'll, oh, you know what, a yellow might be a good way to start. If it's going to be, if I might make a flower out of it, let's start with a little bit of yellow. Start it with a little bit of yellow. And then... Kind of kind of a rose. I wonder if I should put something plastic under it. Catch the drips that I can maybe reuse them. As if so, because right now they're just soaking into the paper. Okay, so let's try this. Yeah, see there, that might be one. Okay, and That looks black, but it is actually a green. And some more red. that doesn't want to come out. Drip, drip, drip. Well, 
Well, that red doesn't want to come out. For some reason, there must be something stuck in there. Let's try this red. It seemed to have plenty of, plenty of, plenty of oomph. Well, now it doesn't. Let's see here. And then we'll try that celestial. That's a blue. Here's an artichoke. Almost looks the same color of green as that one. Okay, not horribly pretty, but... Now, let's turn this over and unfold. Okay, well, um, kind of underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'd have to say underwhelming. So maybe we could drip a little more in there. It does seem like a lot of ink. Well, let's try this. Let's try maybe. I'm definitely not impressed with the ink. Well, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to voiceover mode because this was very time consuming. It took a lot of time to do all of this. And I tried using that cloth that I wiped it with because I thought it might be more absorbent and it might show a better pattern. Um, I did cut out the way I folded it, which was nothing. I didn't make a fold. I just folded it diagonally and um, so uh, uh, when I unfolded it I was a little disappointed <laughs> and uh, yeah didn't really care for uh, for that either I'm not I'm just underwhelmed with the whole process here but I am not completely detoured because um I did notice now I I was inspired by Janet Nash who did a very nice job on her program as she has an she has a channel which I'll link in the um 
in the information box below. So this time I folded it and I tried it a little bit uh, with the color. There was something sticking in the red. There was like a, a clot, I think, of, of ink that was sticking and I just could not get any red out and I didn't have anything handy to poke it with to try and fix it. But I put, a, put some different colors on and um, I managed to get a little bit of red. And there we go. Now I unfolded that and okay, that's about how things are supposed to be. They're supposed to look prettier colors. Yeah, but I'm totally done. I've, I've used a lot of ink. Now I happen to have four of these boxes of ink colors, so I wasn't too deterred. Anyway, I got this out because this has a very liquid center that you press in, and I think I, uh, I used it on some other things. But I'm still wanting to try this you know, spreading it out to make it look like a flower. <laughs> and by this time now, I've gotten very tired. My arm is tired. And I'm, I did speed this up, but I was working pretty fast also in addition to uh, the speed here in that I've made it for the video. And um, I should have stopped to swipe it before it left the dots. But there we are. Um, it was another uh, experiment, and I did love the silver, and I would have loved to have gone back over. I'm leaving this up as a video for you all to see that not everything goes right. Not everything goes perfect uh, for, <laughs> for those of us. Of course, you who follow me know that that's how it is all the time, or a lot of the times with me. But anyway... Um, I was happiest with this, I think because I like the colors better, and but it isn't really a tie-dye either, so it, it's definitely a faux tie-dye. And um, uh, it should have been done a little bit differently. I did add that extra yellow in the middle to cover up the the yellow spots from that I, I was, that were on the paper when I began. Um, because I was just careless. <laughs> but anyway, um, overall, it was a fun project to do, and I think you can probably see where I made my mistakes, and you can avoid those mistakes if you want to try something similar. But anyway, thanks for watching. It was uh, great and fun, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, and this is what I ended up with. Um, I made a little journal out of the papers. The... Um, the fabric was so saturated with ink that I went ahead and I pressed some papers and I pressed all that ink out onto the, these different pages until it just wouldn't press anymore. And then I used these pages for, um, for backgrounds in this book. And then I did include these two uh, in the book. So, yeah, uh, this has uh, some jelly print or some... Um, uh, deli paper um, on the back just to strengthen the cover a little bit and it made just a nice little uh, nice little journal for um, for play or journaling if if, if you want to do it for whatever it just has no actual real purpose but anyway so there you go that's a little epilogue of how you take um, kind of a big mess and um, keep going until you uh, come up with something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's my epilogue. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.